everybody, Jason from Trendify here, and today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite topics on how to make $10,000 or more per month using High Level. And it's something that I've talked about in the past, but I want to expand even further on it today. And that is basically giving away free website designs to local businesses. And in return, after they like the design, they say, okay, I want it. Then they pay you monthly for that service. And it can be $97 a month, $197 a month, depending on what you include inside of that package, could be even more than that. So now before we get started, I do want to remind you that I have a free 30 day trial to high level. All you have to do is go to ghlfree.com, ghl, like go high level, ghlfree.com, and you will get a free 30 day trial to high level. Once you click that link, you'll go to a page that looks like this, and on that page, you'll go and set up your free trial. That is for the SaaS Pro plan, which is $497 per month. Now, before you freak out, number one, I do provide a ton of free resources on this channel to help you get some money flowing into your company and hopefully can cover that expense before your 30 day trial is up. But if you get to the end of the trial and you're still not quite ready for it, you can downgrade easily to the $297 per month plan or even the $97 per month plan and you'll still have time to build your experience. Or some people have told me that they get to the end of their 30 day free trial and they reach out to high level and high level has been helping them extend that for maybe a week or two weeks or a month. I can't guarantee that it's not my company, but I have heard that some people have tried that and it worked out. But hopefully you watched my videos on this channel. I help you find ways to bring in some quick revenue. And then once you do that, then you can open up your mind to whatever else you want to offer without the pressure of having that monthly expense coming into your bank account every month. So just go to ghlfree.com. You'll land on this page and fill out your form and start playing around with it. Now, let's get into the strategy. The strategy for today is how do you actually get some clients that you can do free website design for, which if you're not a designer, don't freak out. I'm gonna show you exactly where to find templates inside of High Level to get this done for you very easily. But once you build the site, then you can go and rent it out basically because you're using it on your High Level platform. So if they stop paying for the monthly website, then the website goes away, which I like businesses like that because once they get a website from you and they're getting some great value out of it, because we're not just giving them a website, we're going to give them a chat widget, some reviews and some other things. But once we do that, then they're going to pay every single month. If they stop paying, all of that goes away. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So before we do, I'm going to go over to Google and kind of show you my thought process to how I would go and find a business to reach out to. And all I do is say I'm in San Antonio, that's my local area here, and I want to work with a plumbing company. So I'm going to go through and what I'm looking for here is businesses that don't have a website listed. Okay, so I'm just going to make a list of these things. So you can he see here 4M Plumbing Services. Now, just because a website isn't listed here doesn't mean that they don't have a website. Sometimes they just haven't figured out how to connect the website to their Google profile, which is another opportunity for you to reach out to them. So I'm just going to put these on a spreadsheet here. So I'm going to go new sheet here. This is just a free Google sheet. So I'm going to do this. Uh, maybe I'll do their phone number, put that on the spreadsheet here. So I'm going to go back to Google, find some more here. Red bra Brass Plumbing. I've already looked these up just so I can make this video more efficient. But let's just put that here. Copy this onto our spreadsheet. And I would do, just do this and get like 50 of these examples in my local. If I lived in San Antonio and wanted to reach out, that's what I would do. So I have a list here. Now what I can do is first thing I'm going to Google this 4M plumbing services. So I'm going to show you that. Just hit the Google search here. You can see they have a Yelp profile and a Facebook profile, which I like to find businesses that don't have a website, but do have a Facebook profile. Because when I do that, then I have a way to reach out to them. I can DM them without having to cold call. I do cold call if I have to, but I prefer to try other methods first. That's just my method. You can do whatever you want, but you'll notice here they do have a website. So if I click on this, let's see if it's a good website. Looks pretty solid, right? Um, let's see if they have a chat widget. They do. So you can see this company is paying Podium. Probably I've done on other videos, probably two, three, four hundred dollars per month to have all this wired up here. So great opportunity if you wanted to try to reach out to them. You could offer this for a fraction of the cost or you can just move on to some other examples that may be uh, not doing this service. So Red Brass Plumbing and Drain LLC. You can see they have a LinkedIn profile. This is probably the owner so we know who to reach out to. A Yelp profile next door. A better Business. Looks like they do have a website too. Now I thought that that was a great second example but when I clicked on it, what do you think happened? Uh oh. So 
It's going to this About Us page, wants me to log in. Let's go to the root domain, the redbreastplumbing.com. So let's see if I can do that. Same thing. So I just password protected. So it leads me to believe one of two things. Either it's in the middle of being updated and they just haven't activated it right this second, or it could be that they had something like a Wix or a Squarespace or something like that and they stop paying for it for whatever reason, or they don't even know that their website is down, which is a, a big possibility too. I can check the page source here just real quickly, see if I can see anything. Um, just on a quick search, I can't see that this is a Squarespace or anything. Some of you who are better at websites may know, but it doesn't really matter. The point is that businesses are out there. They either have a website or they don't, and sometimes they have a website that is down. They don't even know it. So people are trying to Google and find a plumber right here. And number one, they can't find it because it's not on Google. But even if they did, even if they decided they wanted to use this company uh, and they tried to go to the website, they can't reach them. So it's a great opportunity for us. So we're going to use that as our example here. So red brass plumbing and drain. And I'm going to see if I can find any kind of logo or anything else here. Let's look under images. So red brass plumbing and drain. So we got a logo example here. So that's cool, I can save that just for now. So it looks like they were doing some marketing. They even have like some coupon codes here, all this stuff, but their site for whatever reason is down. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna go into high level and I'm going to show you where to find their templates in here. So we're inside the builder here. All I'm gonna do is click new funnel here. I'm gonna to go to template library and I'm going to look up plumbing. Uh, this is a good one I've used. This one's a pretty good. You can always click on this little eyeball here and kind of get a better preview of what the website looks like. So logo here, we fix all your plumbing problems. Pretty decent little site here. So I'm just gonna use this as my example here. Click okay, get this template. And then what I found is I just have to refresh here. And then when I'm in here, I'll show you how to go and edit the site really quickly. Okay, so here we are, plumber. And now we have three pages. We have a landing page, a schedule page, a thank you page, and they look really nice right out of the box. So if you're not a designer, you don't know how to do that kind of graphic stuff, it's okay. They already have some really cool templates in here. And you can see, you just gotta swap out the logo, swap out the phone number, and that's all we would do. So we had their logo here. Let's see if we can find a wide one. So we're just gonna take this one here. It's probably not gonna look great just because it's a square image, but let's just edit this and I'll show you what to do soon. We're gonna edit the page and what we're gonna to try to do is swap out this logo here. Image, which is right here. We're gonna upload the image that we just downloaded. Okay, and then as that's there, we just double click it. Now it's probably big. We would probably, if we were not doing this as a demo live on a call, we'd make this a wide image but let's just shrink this down a bit okay so we got that there we can see they have like a red and yellow color here so let's see if we can make this button red okay we got that red and let's change this to red and then we'll go and find their phone number from the spreadsheet here we go okay and we're going to change this phone number out here so let's see what it says down here and we just back that out bam and then down here, same thing. Okay, and that is the beginnings of the website. We can go and find some stuff about them on Yelp and things like that. And just, I like to do the top of the fold area to present to the business owner. So I might go to their Google search here. Let's go back to all. Um, let's see if we can find a little bit of their information here. So we'll go to the Yelp profile. And this is all on the fly, so who knows what I'll find here. So not that. Um, Let's go back a little bit and we're going to search here and see if we got anything. So, oh great, so we found an email address now. So we're piecing this together, right? Now we have an email and a phone number and a Facebook profile we can reach out to them. Uh, but now we have this little, our story part. We're just going to go back here. This is the last thing I'm going to do for this example. Uh, paste it in here, click save. And now I have the beginnings of something I can pitch to this company, right? So I just can preview this once it's saved, I'll preview it. So I got this screenshot here. I can even take a little screenshot like this if I want. If I don't wanna send them a link to the site, I can just take a screenshot and email it over to them. Or I can uh, finish building some of this out and then send them an actual link to access the site. 
but that's just what we're doing. And if Red Brass, if I reach out to them and they say, not interested, my son's doing it, whatever, I got a family member, we're just in the middle of making a new website, all I got to do is swap out this logo with the next company, and then I have another business I can reach out to with the same design that I've already done because I'm not going to sell it to Red Brass Plumbing. So that's how we do this over and over and over again. This took me less than five minutes to create. And if I wanted to build out the full site, probably take me an hour. And when I do this, once a business owner says, yes, love it, I'm giving them the design for free. And I say, you know what? It's just going to be 97 bucks per month. Uh, we're going to give you a chat widget and we're going to help you get more and more reviews. So if you want that to keep going, then just reach out to us and we'll work out all the details. So I'll show you how to turn the chat widget on here. Let me just hit save. We're going to go back. So we'll just do settings, chat widget enabled, hit save. Now, if I open this back up, you'll see in the bottom right corner, our chat widget will be in there and bam, there we are. So then I can show them this demo. I can create a little loom video, reach out to them and see if they're interested and just do this thing over and over and over again. You do this for just a couple people. You got some cash flow coming in that's covering your monthly expenses, which I think is incredible. And then we just, again, go back to Google and start finding more and more people. And maybe it's a business owner that has a website, but they don't have a chat widget. Maybe it's a business owner that doesn't have a website. They've been in business for 10 years and they got two reviews. So we have different ways that we can position this. Can I help you get more reviews by giving you this website? Uh, all kinds of different ways. Or are you having trouble scheduling people to come out? We can give you this calendar function, all these different one-off things that we can do inside of high level. So let me find one more example here just to show you it's not a fluke. So this one, so I'm gonna add them to my sheet here and then I'm gonna Google them. They have a Yelp profile, uh, let's see. And that's about it. So they don't have a website. So they're missing out on, let's see how many reviews they have. No reviews. If I can reach out to them easily and say, hey, can I do a free website for you? No charge for the design. I'll send it over to you. If you like it, then we can talk about keeping it going and helping you get more reviews. And you just do this all day long. There are endless cities and endless niches to go into. You don't have to stick to one when you're first starting out. That's the biggest thing I see is people feel like they have to niche down and they have to get all the branding and all that stuff ready to go before they reach out and talk to anybody. And before you know it, your trial is over and you made no money. So just start taking action. Start reaching out to people, getting to people saying no. Okay, because then you'll learn. Why did they say no? Did, was I not clear enough? Do I need to rephrase how I'm offering that? Who knows what it is, but eventually by talking to enough people, you'll find what works and then you'll have a lot more success. So that's what I got for you guys today. Make sure that you are trying this method, but the only way to try it is to get a free trial. So get your free trial, go to ghlfree.com, sign up for your free trial. And once you do, you're going to see several different ways to use this software to make money. And then you can worry about expanding, figuring out your niche, figuring out how much you want to charge in different packages. But the only way to do that is to do it. So I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I plan to make even more of this content and I appreciate you watching. So I'll talk to you again on the next video. Thanks.